Well, percenters, welcome back to 1424 basketball training where the goals take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. In today's video, teaching tape, nugs, trailblazers. Um, let's see what's going on. on the road where they blew Twerker. You guys told me Malone got out coast. Just read the comments. Um, the highlights don't always do it justice. Thanks for always filling in the gaps. Look at that fro. Beautiful spin, left-hand hook, Jeff Green. They're going big, man. Jeff Green, Aaron Gordon, Joker. The Blazers, man, they need to blow it up. No Dame, no CJ. I want to see this Joker Nurk Nurk battle. The homies. So Nurk is plenty strong to hold off Jokic here. Like he gives him a good little fight. But all that backdoor action, I always talk about uh, quarterbacks and receivers. Right back to him. Oh. He got blocked, but still hammered it. Beautiful slice layup. If you guys are young, you guys are athletic and bouncy, this is a slice layup. You hand it off, right, left, plant. Okay, normally it looks like you're going to go for a dunk with your right hand, but then you slice this way, and then you finish with like a finger roll or a side hand finish. Beautiful little slice layup there. One of the freakiest athletes of all time, Dennis Smith Jr. But for some reason, he can't uh, stick with a team. So if you're a less than stellar athlete, you can be really, really, really good and make an NBA team or a high school team. You don't always have to be the best athlete like Dennis Smith Jr. He's probably one of the freakiest athletes ever, but he can't stick around on an NBA team. Back door. Oh, so easy. Come on, Nurk. Don't you know this is your homie? Like, so when I talk about right time, right type, right <coughs> target, like what makes a great pass, right type, right time, right target. Okay. Aaron Gordon has, has figured out how to play with Joker. Jeff Green has figured out how to play with Joker. You slide through the back. Nurkic is guarding him. They're in a 2-3 zone. This guy's way too high. They're, they're worried about Monte Morris, and they fall asleep on the backside. Oh, this is bad defense. It's just like awareness. Time it back. Let me know if you want to see my video of me jacking up threes with a high position three today. I'm posting it anyways. You don't gotta you don't gotta say anything. Should I keep the new form just to prove it to you guys? It's 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 about self-organization and arms. Ooh, super tough. Boom. Inside. Stop. Pull with the left. Touch with the right. Another step. Pick it up. Left, right, gather. Perfect little angles on the three. Energy is going this way. So you got to be heels off the floor. Nice little bend here. And when I talk about um, the shooting, look at these angles. This is beautiful. So all the energy is going up like this. That is textbook. So if I'm teaching young players that are just basketball players, your typical basketball players, they don't like to lift. They just like to hoop. Okay, this is how I would teach you. This is how I would teach you. Okay, angles, angles, angles. Nice little position three, elbow underneath the ball. So that's how I would teach you if you're uh, average, average height, your typical player, your average worker. Only your super hard worker would I would I teach like the uh, the variations, 
Oh my God. What a catch, Jeff Green. Oh my God. Some of the prettiest is uh prettiest plays are always off of slightly bad passes. Like this wasn't a great pass by Compasso. It was uh, a little bit too far ahead of him, but Jeff Green makes it a, a great play by just catching it all in one motion and, and laying it up instead of pump faking or dribbling. Jeff Green, so underrated. He's improved his shooting over, over the years too. <laughs> Compasso has to work on some type of hesitation right here to just step his game up a little bit right here. When they all zone him, he has to be able to figure out how to get into this lane a little bit. Sometimes they're always going to play him in the pass, so he needs to stop and go a little bit, quick little right-hand reverse, stop, quarter turn, do all kinds of weird stuff um, if he wants to add, continue to add value to his game here. Better teams will take that away. They're just going to play him for that left-handed uh, layup. Ah, Jeff Green. Oh, my God. Give that man a raise. Give that man a raise, dude. Okay, so when I talk about the unorthodox jumps, again, it's a left-right plant, like – a lot of players don't don't have that, especially right-handed. Would you guys rather dunk on somebody or hit like a buzzer beating three? I would say dunk because I've never dunked on somebody. I've have I have hit plenty of buzzer beaters or game winners. But dunking on someone might be different. Might be so different. Spin. Got him, coach. She like yo Joe uh Nergish will give Joker just that little bump right there. Will annoy him. They are friends. He knows how to battle. I'm not saying Nergish is better than Joker, but he will make his life a little bit harder. So like here, understanding the passing angle. This is just bad. This is just bad. Like Aaron Gordon's just not very smart. <laughs> like this is a very, very tight window, especially from a right-handed passer. Okay, coming across your body. So this guy's hand is going to be in the way. And this guy's swinging around to this side. This is an absolute awful fucking pass. <laughs> I, I would yell at my high school kids if they did this. Um yeah, what he should have done is probably fake it or, or did a dribble move this way and then pass it or pass fake down and then pass it right over his head or something. Or if, if he's got skills, dime it right through his legs and a bounce pass and, and lead Joker into here, this guy will come. And I swear Joker would probably just flip it to Monte Morris for an easy pass. Oh, that's just, that's a terrible pass. Broken play. Um, if, if you are a coach or if you have a player that's a coach and your coach is always focused on the outcome of certain plays and they're not focused on the process or the learning, um, like that looks like a good play. They would cheer for the, the, the May three, but I would be mad. You should be teaching players the right things, how to think, how to process stuff. If your coach, if a player takes a bad shot and makes it, um, it's still a bad shot. If they take a good shot and miss it, it's still a good shot. Oh, he's, he's been watching Compasso passing videos. Again, Ben McLemore, one of those super high-level athletes. Haven't, hasn't really stuck around. He was on the Lakers at the beginning of this year, I think. That's a good pass. Look, they're so good, they're going to send it to you twice. So ball comes right away, closeout comes, Joker dies right on time. Before the closeout even comes, hands are down, pass it over the hands. Yeah. 
started right now, Bittner up 18, two and a half to go in this first half. Got him. If you're if you're buddies and you get him up in the air right here, why don't you blow him a little kiss? Like they, they don't teach shit talking in Serbia or what, man? Like how do how do they shit talk in Serbia? Like blow him a little kiss? Too little? A little flex or or what do they do? Serbia is just so tough they don't need a shit talk. Oh my God, Jeff Green. Yee. If I travel to Denver to a game and my, my tradition is to buy a shirt jersey, I got to find me a Jeff Green one. Oh, again. This boy, I said, man, Jeff Green, Aaron Gordon have figured out how to play with Joker. Um, <laughs> Oof. It must be the it must be the CBD. He must be on something. Or the mile high, the altitude, running in the altitude, jumping in the altitude. Running at that Red Rock uh, stadium or whatever that is. Throw it back, Barton. Good lord. He's gonna shoot it. <laughs> Like, so <clears throat> I did that greatest peaks, Kobe, and they kind of ragged on his defense a little bit. If I'm Nurkic here, okay, I did my job. I'm sending the guy back. Barton didn't pass it. So now Barton's, Barton's dribbling it out. He has to dribble it out. He's not going to do anything. I'm taller, bigger, stronger. Got to recognize there's five seconds left on the clock. He's backing out. I would apply a little bit of pressure here. So I know he's trying to back out into space to shoot. Okay, the only shot I'm allow here is a touch step back going to his left. So I would collapse and force him to drive that baseline because there's not enough time for him to get all the way to the rack. I would have my hands up. I wouldn't have them down or at least up around my chest. So these are all the little things that like, I don't know, I would be aware of. If you got big hands, if you got long hands, it's such a it's such a valuable thing to have. Look at Jeff Green fighting with the off arm, putting this arm way behind him. Like these are little things that uh, people don't realize are very very important in the game. They talk about wingspan for like shot blocking and stuff like that. They talk about height. It's not necessarily that. It's like even things like this to get an angle on a pass. It's so important. It's just like spinning this ball to get that around. Like that's the perfect type of pass, right time, right target, leads them. Very, very underrated. If Denver somehow loses this game again, uh, Maybe I'll 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 put out the fire Malone chance. But if uh, the Clippers did just switched everything, why can't the Blazers do that? If the Nuggets make it to the playoffs, which I think they'll do, the blueprint is out. Switch everything, trap, force them to shoot threes because they suck at threes. They got no real deadly shooter that they can trust. Austin Rivers is more of a scorer. Aaron Gordon's more of a slasher. Jeff Green's more of a slasher. Compassel's a pl uh, playmaker. What just happened? Uh, Barton's more of a scorer like that. Look like he got poked in the eye. Oh, look at this guy. He's challenging Aaron Gordon's throw. Throw it to Aaron Gordon. Nope. Never mind. Austin Rivers. Give me a shimmy, Austin Rivers. Again, long arms. Little guy turning the corner. If you're driving around with the right arm, sliding right here. When he engages, poke it out with the left arm. He's grabbing my arm. 
Beautiful Euro with the reverse. Down 20. Ah, Joker. Trying to dunk. Get up. Okay, go watch my one-legged jump transformation. There's a whole playlist. The number one thing, accelerate into the jump. Okay, number two, drop down a jump and drive. Like right here, this right step, he, it's very, he doesn't drop very low, so he doesn't get much of a push out of this, this foot here. But uh, I do give him effort for trying. Jokic with a little meanness. Trying to dunk on people now. Dennis Smith with the hezzy. Let's break down the hezzy. Have a little series on on on, on hezzy. Has a little sub zero things here. Okay, some type of exchange. So behind the back exchange, skip back front with the footwork, hand shadow the ball. <clears throat> so it looks like you're covering the ball. Okay, you get this guy leaning forward. And that's all you need for a super elite athlete like Dennis Smith. All you need is that little half step. So there's that half step, gets the angle on him. He has to cut it off. So now he, he's in a very, very bad sliding position this way instead of this way. So it allows for an easy spin. Boom. Big, long step, left, right. Keep the ball on the right side shoulder. Here you go, guys. Hezzy breakdown. How to do a Hezzy. Okay, one. There, right? That behind the back. Some type of exchange. So crossover exchange between a leg exchange. An in and out would be an exchange. A push cross would be some type of exchange. Okay, back front with the feet. Okay, normally you want to push a little bit harder with his back foot to get him on his heels. Okay, he doesn't. He's so fast. Dennis Smith Jr. gets away with it. So you want to push with his right foot. Okay, push with that right foot. The back foot so this guy is now back on his heels okay <clears throat> back front with the push shadow hand over the ball how do i go back a clip or two doesn't work sorry guys <clears throat> i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying here like my computer won't let me do it but anyways Okay, back front, ball, shadow hand over the ball, eyes up, look at the rim, and then go. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> Check out that playlist. It's the one with the little sub-zero on there. I think I think I made a playlist. Bones anchored between, anchored between again. Like, like these passes out of Compasso, they are they are done out of necessity. And most coaches will say this is a bad pass, but as long as it gets there on time, on target, right? This what type of pass is this? That's like a football throw. Perfect in his shooting pocket. If he threw that like over his head and a coach got pissed and, and taught that out of him, Composso would not be as good as he is. Bones. Turn around, fade away. Oh. <clears throat> Clamp him up, Compasso. Jeff Green, give me a dunk. No, I've already seen that coming the, the whole way. Give it up. There it is. Compasso's good, man. Right here. Double team, he doesn't get any closer. A lot of young players, they're always always trying to get closer and attack. They always say, get downhill, get downhill. If you're small and all you do is try to get downhill, all you're doing is compressing your passing angles against bigger dudes. It's like Russell Wilson behind the O-line that you need, you need this cushion. 
you need this cushion so you have these angles to pass it through here if you're small and you're playing against bigger <clears throat> bigger guys okay going downhill all the time isn't going to work you need to give yourself a cushion some space so you can you know throw this pass through here composite does a great job like if you don't teach players the principles and you're just telling them to attack and, and not teaching them how to attack you're doing yourself a disservice. So he takes this extra pound to, to let Najee get to an open area. So here, normally you would tell someone to pass it right here. Like pass it, lob it, lob it to him. He holds it, takes another pound. Then he gets these guys to commit, keeps the space. And then look at this off the dribble. <clears throat> Very, very hard to teach guys things like this that don't have that right mentality, like the playmaker, the vision, to see the stuff ahead. You can teach people to be good ball movers and, and hit the first read in the first window. Not a lot of Tom Brady's, LeBron's, Jason Kidd's, Peyton Manning's. 140, Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups probably wants a new job, man. He was collecting checks, doing TV. Now he's now he's stressed out. Nurk, I kill you every time, bro. Let's go have some dinner. All right, guys. What did you guys learn? I mean, it's a good bounce back game. They should have won two in a row, maybe four or five in a row, whatever their streak is. Um, Nurk can't ever beat Yoke, Joker. He, he's, he's just like the little beaten boy. All right, guys. Until next time, have a great one. Take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.